Learn how to make this Asian-inspired journal on Heather's How To. Hi, I'm Heather. Bookbinding is a very fun process. It's pretty easy to do and you can make almost any kind of book you can think of from journal to photo book to scrapbook. And the project I'm going to show you today will be using a five stitch method of bookbinding and we're going to make a small journal of just a few pages so it's not very thick and it'll be fairly easy to punch the holes to make the stitches. All you'll need for this project is two pieces of cardboard, some sheets of writing paper, some decorative paper, an old calendar, embroidery floss and some ribbon, a ruler, pencil, scissors, and a craft knife, a double stick tape, Mod Podge, and an awl or other tool to punch holes with, a thick yarn needle, and binder clip, clothespins, or elastic bands. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is to measure and cut the pieces for your cover, front and the back. My book is going to be a six and a quarter by nine inch book with a three quarter inch spine. So first you take your cardboard, measure it out. Okay, then cut out your two pieces with your craft knife. Okay, once you have that done, you want to measure three quarters of an inch in to create the spine. And you'll do that on each piece. And once you put once you put these score lines in, take the dull side of your craft knife and just run it down that line and you want to make sure that you just make an indent so you'll be able to bend the cover without cutting through it. And once you've added your scoring line, take the cardboard and lightly ease it back and forth so you get your spine edge. And do this on both covers. Okay, next you take your two covers and line them up so that the scores are in the right spot. Make sure that when you open it, it bends correctly. And once you have that, take your decorative paper, I have some beautiful red rice paper here, and you're going to measure out uh, one piece for each side of the cover. And it doesn't have to be exact, as you'll see later, um, but maybe a half an inch or so um, outside the edge of the cover. Okay, and then just take scissors, cut out your pieces. And as I said before, they don't have to be exact. So you'll be folding it over and taking one of the pieces of writing paper and covering the edges on the inside and of each cover. Okay, once you have your pieces cut out, take a little bit of Mod Podge and put a nice thin layer on the front of, your, of each cover. Put it on a little thick and then you'll adhere the paper to each cover. Now you might get a little buckling with the paper since it's probably a little thin and uh, you've got this glue here. Um, if you prefer, you could use some double stick tape or any other adhesive that, um, that you might think of that would prevent the buckling. Although in this case, I kind of like it because the rice paper is kind of, you know, handmade looking and natural. So it just kind of adds to that effect for me. So it doesn't really make a difference. Now once you get the glue on there, flatten it down. Then you'll flip it over and then you'll work on the outside edges to fasten them down. Okay, now you take some more of your Mod Podge, put it down along the edges, fasten them down. You may need to cut the corners a little bit to make the edges fit a little clean, more cleanly. Just fold it and snip, and then just continue gluing until you get all the way around. And once you have your edges done, you'll take one of the pieces of writing paper, one for each cover, and add a little adhesive to those as well. And make sure you get all the edges in here. And you'll, you'll probably see a little buckling with this as well, but once it's dry, most of that should go away. And here you go. And you can always touch these up. Good piece. And again, you'll do that for both covers. And then let that dry, and once you do that, your next step will be to mark off holes where, where you will uh, put the stitches. Next you'll take your cover and mark off five holes where you'll be punching the holes through the book, starting from the middle, doing one right in the center, then one at either end, either three-eighths or about a half an inch in from there, and then one in the center of each of those two holes. 
Then you'll take your writing paper, a little stack here, we have about 18 pages here. Put it all together and then we will put them together with a binder clip and then we will start poking the holes in there. Now this may take a little bit because it is many layers of paper and cardboard you're going through. So it may take a little time. You can use an awl so, such as this um, or any other uh, pointed object or hole punch and just make your holes. There. Punching the holes can be the most time consuming part of book binding, at least for me. But once you get that done, you're in the home stretch. You're going to take your book and then you're going to take your embroidery floss or thread and measure out a piece that's roughly four times or a little more, uh, four times the uh, length of your book. And then you'll thread your yarn needle just one single time. Put it right through there. And then you're going to start by going up through the center hole. Pull it up through there. Rethread if you need to. This will definitely keep falling out as you're going along. Then take it back down through the next hole that's closest to the top. Then you'll go around the spine and go back through that same hole. Okay, once you have that done, leave a few inches of thread as you're going along because you'll be tying a knot at the end. When you go through this hole, stitch up through the top, the hole nearest the top. Like that. And once you come up through the top hole, you'll come back up through this hole, back down the next hole, skip the center hole, come back up through the second to the last hole, back down through the bottom hole, around the spine first, back down the bottom hole, around the spine, back up underneath the book, come back out the second hole up, back down the center, and then you just tie a knot to finish off the book, and then that's the last step of the binding, then you'll be ready to put your finishing touches on the cover. Next I picked out a picture from the calendar to put on the front cover. On the back I put double stick tape. I did this just to make sure that the paper will stay nice and flat. Press that down onto the front. Then I'm going to take some ribbon and glue a little border around the front. starting with this edge here and using one continuous piece all the way around flipping, flipping over the corner like that Okay, press down the last bit of ribbon in place and you're done you got your Asian inspired bound book all ready for use and just remember there are a lot of different ways to do book binding this is just one of them and you can do anything with books you can use any kind of materials you want more uh, calendars, fabric anything you can think of. So go crazy. I'm Heather. Thanks for watching. Please visit k4graphics.com for handmade gifts, artwork, and more.